Hey everyone, guess where I am? In a hotel room, of course, but you probably don't know where. I'm in Shanghai, China. I've been invited to give a talk at an aesthetic conference, and my time here happens to overlap with a really important event hosted by Beresdorf, um, the pharmaceutical German ph pharmaceutical company that owns Eucerin, Aquaphor, Nivea, and lots of other brands. And they had an event recently in China celebrating Thiamidol 630, which is the topic of today's video. So if you struggle with hyperpigmentation, melasma, looking for products that's gentle and effective, then you definitely don't want to miss today's video. If you're already familiar with Thiamidol because it is now available internationally, then I'm going to recommend some of my favorite products that you can purchase in Europe, in China, and of course in the United States. Hi, my name is Dr. Jenny Liu. I'm a board certified dermatologist and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I rarely do these filming when I'm traveling, but I want to catch it while it's still fresh because definitely it's a milestone for buyer's door for use from brand celebrating the Thiamidol 630 recognition in China, which is super important. So if you would love to learn more about skincare ingredients, skincare content, Chinese skincare, then you definitely come to the right place. Please, please, please give this video a like. Don't forget to hit that notification button and subscribe to my channel. So first of all, what is thiamidol? Thiamidol is a patented ingredient unique to Beiersdorf, the German pharmaceutical company, and it took them years to actually come up and identify this compound. It is called a tyrosinase inhibitor. What does that mean? Tyrosinase is the first and most important enzyme when it comes to making melanin or pigment. And this is important because this is how we treat disorders of hyperpigmentation, whether it's post-inflammatory, whether it is you know induced by acne, sun damage, or melasma, for example. And many of the ingredients on the market are tyrosinase inhibitors. The most well-known one is like hydroquinone, which I know some derms love and some derms hate, but that it has been considered the gold standard because it is one of the most effective, but certainly comes with a cause of irritation and sometimes potentially worsening of hyperpigmentation and even toxicity to the melanocytes if used wrong or for too long or at too high of a concentration. Anyway, the reason why thiamidol has really been in the news lately and the significance of thiamidol is that not only is it a tyrosinase inhibitor, it is the first, believe it or not, tyrosinase, tyrosinase inhibitor that is made specifically to human tyrosinase. So you're probably asking like, what does that matter? Like why are you even talking about human tyrosinase inhibitor? Well, believe it or not, before thiamidol, all of the tyrosinase inhibitors in the past have been really been mushroom tyrosinase inhibitors in the sense that is where they did testing um, because number one, it's cheap, and two, back then we lacked assays for like human specific tyrosinase. You're probably wondering, like, why am I bringing this up? What does it matter, mushroom? Well, as you can imagine, uh, mushroom tyrosinase is very different from humans. And why that was done, it was historically, I think it was just cheap. Um, and two, we probably didn't have great human tyrosinase assays and things like that. Um, but as you guys can imagine, when a product is tested on like an animal um, or even plant-based enzyme, even if it demonstrates efficacy in those enzymes, it doesn't necessarily translate to effectiveness in humans, right? And that is why thiamidol is so unique, is that it is the very first tyrosinase inhibitor that has been shown and made to inhibit human tyrosinase. And it's effective and gentle. In fact, I've actually talked, I've met the scientist who developed thiamidol uh, from Germany. I met him at three different conferences on three different continents. Um, and hearing his story is so fascinating, like the history and how many iterations. And the reason why it's called thiamidol 630 is I believe they literally went through like 630 iterations of testing. It took them like 15 plus years. So certainly not something that just came up with overnight, but that was that's like a little bit of history and why thiamidol um, can be a great ingredient and one that you can actually now easily find um, over the counter without a prescription. Now, thiamidol is not new. It's been around, I, got, I think it has like five plus years of history in Europe, other parts of the world like Middle East, um, Southern parts of Asia, but it recently launched in the U.S. Um, in, I believe, spring under Eucerin, the Radiant Tone line. Um, but they've had like a large... Um, line of products, including even body care that's available in, um, I, I think, China and Europe that will be launching hopefully soon in the um in the U.S. But um, so that's a little bit of history behind thiamidol. And now why this um, 
this uh, event in China is super important is because, well, Thiamida launched in China last year, but what they really wanted to do, um, Beiersdorf really wanted to um, prove the claim of what we call made by, or translating it to English is whitening, or for a better term, I should call it brightening. Um, culturally, in Asian culture, particularly Korean, Japanese, and Chinese culture, um, that fair skin, um, dealing with hyperpigmentation, fairness is very important. And even though you know I grew up in the U.S., it's not something that I really valued or you know wanted to have a lighter skin tone. But I know in certain parts of the world, culturally, that is just still something that's very much desired. And so, Biostrove really wanted to have that claim. It's kind of like the sunscreen story or the acne treatment story, where it's an active ingredient. The company, the brand has to submit lots of information to the FDA for approval to get that claim. Well, the event was to celebrate Biostro finally getting that claim from the Chinese government. It took them nine years after thousands of clinical cases to prove efficacy and safety. And this claim is not to be taken lightly because only prescription medications in China can actually have that claim. So for a skincare brand, a cosmeceutical to have that claim, I think it's pretty impressive, but at the same time really speaks to the efficacy of this ingredient, this active ingredient. And it is super exciting because believe it or not to this day, we still don't have really wonderful, effective and gentle skin uh, care ingredients and actives, whether it's prescription or over the counter that can really target concerns of hyperpigmentation, especially those without a prescription, in a way that is that works, that won't cause skin irritation, or say bleaching of the skin, um, or you know, um, worsening of hyperpigmentation with prolonged use. And when I say this, I'm saying this really with hydroquinone in mind, because that is the gold standard that has been long considered by dermatologists and providers to really help with hyperpigmentation, and it does work really well. But the problem is it is extremely irritating. Now it's only prescription only and long-term use you can actually cause potential haloing or um, you know skin bleaching in the sense that it actually is toxic to melanocytes um, with use over time and literally in high concentrations we use it to bleach the skin in conditions like vitiligo and so this is where thiamidol can really have a great impact on um, and helping those um, who are struggling with hyperpigmentation in a gentle way that's effective and without a prescription okay, now moving on to the fun stuff we're going to talk about products i'm actually going to break it down by region and starting off with the u.s because that's where i'm based and i assume where most of you guys are from in the u.s thiamidol is only available under userin called radiant tone line um, in other parts of the world like europe and asia um it's also under Nivea because they're owned by the same uh, German pharmaceutical company. Um, but in the U.S., you can only find it under Radiant Tone in the Eustrum brand. It's got this really pink, a really pretty, like, light, dark pink, white color. And this line contains a cleanser, a serum, a dual serum, a nighttime cream, um, a daily sunscreen with SPF, um, and then an under eye care, like eye cream that helps to tackle dark circles, which is super exciting. Um, now, as far as, like, using this entire line, um, Biostrov have done clinical studies and basically you're going to get the most benefit if you use the entire range and applying it like four times a day. So the serum twice a day, the cream at night, and then the sunscreen, um, moisturizer with sunscreen in the morning. But certainly you don't have to. I think just using any of the actives is going to be better than nothing. And I certainly don't do that. Like when I struggle with hyperpigmentation, I probably just use the serum because it's got the most concentrated um, active. And I've done actually used it with my like retinol at night as well as my vitamin C in the morning and I have not gotten any irritation. But in theory, using it more, like uh, using all the products will give you the best results. Now, the one thing I would have to say is I do wish this line was fragrance-free or at least had a fragrance-free version coming from Europe where fragrance is something that's um, very popular and sought after. They did not make it fragrance-free, which I can imagine for some people, especially those who struggle with sensitive skin and hyperpigmentation, it can be an issue. But for me, I'll tell you, I haven't had any issues being irritated by this product. And of since its launch, I've actually recommended to many of my patients in clinic um, that are wanting um, like a skin brightening product without a prescription. And I have not gotten feedback from them, uh, basically complaining that the fragrance is at least worsening their hyperpigmentation. But just be aware, the line does contain fragrance. So let's just quickly run through the products. The first one is called the Dual Serum. This is like a lightweight, um, creamy serum that basically contains active ingredient thiamidol along with hyaluronic acid, as well as a derivative of licorice root that is really meant to help soothe and calm any sort of redness or irritation. But licorice itself does have some brightening 
healing properties, but the main kind of benefit here is for helping to calm the skin and reduce irritation. And also licorice root does offer reduced um, inflammation. So for those who are struggling with post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation from that inflammation, this does um, kind of basically is another ingredient to kind of help and basically work synergistically with Iamidol to reduce that component as well. And in China, their similar version is actually marketed to help with hyperpigmentation and also suitable for sensitive skin. In the U.S., we don't have that basically claim or recommendation, but certainly um, that licorice root component does help. Now moving on to the sunscreen, this is just a great basically moisturizer and sunscreen in one. The sunscreen is SPF 30. It contains active ingredient thiamidol. It is a chemical filter, not mineral based. But again, like I said, I haven't had personally irritation and had a lot of feedback from my patients saying that this chemical sunscreen is irritating. Aside from the chemical filters, the thiamidol also contains glycerin that is hydrating. I would say the texture is a light um, cream. It's very comparable to just a, like a standard lightweight cream, like you know, from um, CRV lotion type of texture that goes on really nicely, very smooth, um, and does not leave a white cast. Now the nighttime, nighttime dark, uh, nighttime cream or dark spot corrector is a cream that is hydrating and elegant that is meant to be used after the serum. The serum you do use twice, um, twice a day, and you can layer it under after the serum um, at night. And this one contains thiamidol and provitamin B that also helps to calm and uh, basically support the skin barrier. And so that is basically kind of the pretty standard um, routine that you would use, basically cleanse your skin, um, use the serum twice a day, the sunscreen um, in the morning, and then of course this cream at night. Now for those that struggle with dark circles, predominantly because of like friction or pigment induced, because there can be many different types of dark circles, but those who actually have pigment, then the thiamidol eye cream um, can be helpful in gently light, lightening that component of the dark circle. And I do love it that it comes on a roller tip um, that is basically helps to depuff, and then the massage component also, also helps to reduce some of the puffy under eye look. It contains thiamidol, shea butter, hyaluronic acid, and a few other plant-derived extracts, and it's like a lighter cream. It's not super rich or like nourishing. It doesn't really, it's not meant to tackle fine lines, but I really do love the fact that I can usually use it and it keeps my under eye pretty hydrated and does not cause makeup to run or to crease. And you can use it twice a day. Okay, now moving on to products in China. And I do have to say, I am pretty jealous of the Chinese consumers because Eustrin, this um, whole line has a lot more products. I believe they even have sheet mask. They have this really nice toner. They have a serum, um, sunscreen, and just a lot more product, um, you know, options. But also the texture is a lot more lighter, more elegant, um, and that is really basically formulated or reformulated to meet the consumer needs in China. Um, I, interestingly, Chinese consumers really hate thick, creamy, rich stuff. They really prefer more lighter, lightweight, uh, non-greasy products. And I think does have to do with the environment. Like many parts of China is pretty humid. And so you will find that often majority of products, regardless is eucerin, um, but moisturizers, cream, sunscreen, is some, so much lighter, um, non-greasy, and even like gel creams or light lotions, because that is just what the Chinese consumer really wants. And so their hero product is called the Spotless Brightening Pro Aesthetic uh, Booster serum and so this is a really pretty elegant serum that is basically the same active so it's thiamidol but this is the one that really um, contains the thiamidol the claim of what we call made by or whitening that it took like nine years for a buyer's store to um, basically obtain from the Chinese government and it's been shown in Chinese consumers that's the other thing too is to market this in China you have to test on Chinese consumers Chinese population but it's been shown in Chinese population um, there is, can be a 50% reduction in dark spots with consistent use. And aside from thiamidol, this also contains niacinamide and the texture is a little bit lighter, I would say compared to the US version, the dual serum. Um, that is really lovely. Again, something that you, can be, that you can use twice a day. And then another product I really love, as I mentioned earlier, last year I actually got a bottle of their essence or toner. Toners, essences are huge in China, just like in Korea. And it's something that also contains thiamidol. It's watery, it's 
very hydrating and it's just lovely it's like another one of those like nice to have but not necessarily step that i think is just really unique to you know um the chinese market and they actually made this specifically for the chinese market and then lastly is their sunscreen now the sunscreen is actually one that i actually bought in germany so it's not unique to china but it's the anti-pigment sunscreen it is pretty heavily fragranced i would say that it's the only thing i don't like but otherwise i really do love that sunscreen it is creamy it is hydrating and it actually not only blocks uva and uvb but also visible light so it's got advanced filters that unfortunately we just don't have approval of in the us and it's spf 50 and it contains diamidol so if you ever get a chance to travel to asia or europe i highly recommend that sunscreen it is lovely and great to basically protect your skin from you know ultraviolet radiation at the same time helping to reduce um, dark spots pih and hyperpigmentation and then lastly i want to mention nivea in china as well as in europe also has sunscreen that contains diamidol in particular it's called um, luminous 630 uh, anti-dark spot range is the line nivea and i think they're launching a sunscreen in china and believe they also have like moisturizers here but those are a few lines that are available in china if you happen to be traveling to china or already based in china highly recommend checking out all right guys so hopefully that sheds some light on thiamidol the active ingredient it's super exciting um, now that is finally available globally and i can't wait to see because there are going to be exciting stuff coming down the pipeline in uh, europe china but also in the united states where it's going to help with other parts of the body that struggle with hyperpigmentation and i know when i was at germany at the hyperpigmentation conference earlier this year a lot of physicians from middle east um south america as well as thailand where where um this has been used for over five years now their body line with thiamidol they recommend actually for those who struggle with like underarm or body fold hyperpigmentation and can give great results and less irritation so i'm really excited and hopefully that would be something that we would get in the u.s eventually but yes if you struggle with hyperpigmentation looking for a good effective skincare product that can help tackle that in a gentle way without prescription i think thiamidol the eucerin radiant tone line is one that it's worth checking out and i love the fact that they have a wide range of products so you can either use them all or use it with your pre-existing um, routine and still get the benefits so let me know if you've tried this line what your thoughts are and what is your favorite product from this line if you have tried it anyway thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time